Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Coughlin Volleyball. Joining us is the head coach, Shane McGrady. Well, Shane, uh, a pretty good start for your Crusaders this year. Tell us about your team. Well, we have a lot of seniors this year. We returned a lot of boys from last year. We only lost two middles. Um, we have transitioned a couple of guys. Um, uh, a kid that was playing libero for us last year, Chris Dennis, is now playing outside. Uh, Danny Salas, that was a uh, setter for me last year, was a very good setter at that, uh, is a returning first teamer. But he has now been uh, reallocated to the hitting department. He is now an outside, does a little bit of setting, but primarily focuses on the outside. Um, we return Eric Williams, who was an outside last year, and he's been moved to the backside. And Tyler Davis returns as well, and he has now been moved to the middle. Well, tell us about those guys with that experience that they had last year and, and getting uh, you know some time under the belt now, coming back and, and coming back with a strong start for your Crusaders. Yeah, we. I think what was really the turning point for us last year was after we played Nanakoke, we went on a run, and uh, these young guys got a lot of experience. Um, we sort of didn't look back. We did a lot of tournaments around the state. We went to Pottsville. Uh, we were in Quakertown at one point. We did a lot of competitive tournaments. We took our lumps early, but... Um, I think it's paid off at the end. Now, these guys are experienced in season, even though they're in a new position. And I think it's taken a little bit of time to gel. Um, but it, right now, it's looking, you know, things are really starting to take form as we're coming down the stretch. And uh, I think last year's district run, where we finished fourth in districts and ended up playing a play-in game for the state against Becca High, was very crucial for these guys for their learning curve for this year. Talk about playing against some of the big dogs, uh, North Pocono and Holy Redeemer, and you know you know a little bit about those programs. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I you know I played for Chris Suma, who was a former coach up there in the Keystone State games, and then um, I played for Jack Atwood for four years as a uh, Oban Archon. And uh, your experience taken out of some of those coaches, uh, what were some some of the things that those guys emphasized? Well, with playing, there were two very different coaches. Um, Coach Catholic, is, as we all know, is very offensive-minded. His teams always uh, produce some gaudy offensive numbers. And uh, I really was able to sit back and learn. I think being what is now the libero was then a defensive specialist because we didn't have liberos. Um, I had the opportunity to sit back and take everything. It's almost like playing a safety in football. You see everything unfold underneath, and you get an opportunity to really take everything in. Uh, then playing with... Coach Suma, I was very fortunate that I played with a kid that went to Pepperdine, Corey Spencer, and a couple of other guys that were very talented. It was essentially a local all-star team. We went down to the Keystone Games and didn't lose a game, ended up winning gold in 2004. But Chris was um, very defensive-minded. So it was very different in that perspective, but I think it helped me mold who I am today. Always picking up drills along the way from both of those guys. They're both very good coaches. Talk with Shane McGrady. We're talking Coughlin Volleyball here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. Safe locations in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Kingston, Hazleton, and Williamsport. Well, Shane, being a young coach, uh, there's some advantages and, and you know maybe a couple of disadvantages. Tell us about how the kids respond to you there at Coughlin. I think early on it may have been a little bit more difficult because I was closer in age. Um, I was very fortunate in that I was out of the area for a couple of years. I was... Uh, studying law down in Miami. So when I came back, there were fresh new faces. It wasn't, uh, they weren't familiar faces that I had been seeing around the league for a couple of years. Um, but I do think that being away from it, I did lose some credibility. So I think early on, I did have to gain that. They did make me work for it. And uh, we definitely had our lumps early on. My first year, we were 6-6. Six and six, And trying to follow Coach Lipinski was very difficult. He had had a, a long string of success there. Um, and I came in and tried to do things differently. I was more defensive-minded, whereas Dave was... Uh, very offensive minded. Now, I think my team has taken my uh, sort of my persona and my uh, my system and ran with it, but it did take some time. When you talk about competing in the Wyoming Valley Conference against teams like North Pocono and Holy Redeemer, uh, what's it take to play against teams like that that have been established for so long? Is it uh, a matter of confidence on your guys' end, or or kind of what you alluded to earlier, playing all over the state and just gaining some more experience? You know, what, John, I think. And two things. One is going out of the area and playing those teams, just as you touched upon. When you go out and you see competition, that, like last year we played Exeter, and um, we just saw Exeter again this weekend, even though we didn't play them. Uh, seeing teams like that that are really the benchmark for success in the state of Pennsylvania, I think that helps you. Hey, even though you take your lumps, you learn a lot in the process. And two, 
Um, just my own experience. My first game as head coach was actually in the district title game against Coach Cablick when I was coaching the Crestwood girls. Um, and I learned very early on that it was then Bishop Hove and now Holy Redeemer. They've been sort of a bully over the past couple of years. So I think like any bully, you've got to try to come out and seize momentum early. And North Pocono is no different. If you come out and punch the bully in the mouth early, you have a chance to establish your will and set the tempo. But if you allow a team like that to get momentum, I think your kids are sitting back saying, oh, no, we're going to be another you know sacrificial lamb. Shane McGrady talking Coughlin Volleyball here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, Shane, when it all shakes out, uh, when district playoffs come around, uh, you hope you can uh, get a little better as the season, go- season goes on and compete with some of those top teams. At, uh, what do you think the goal is for your guys this year? Our goal is to first win the Wyoming Valley Conference. That's first and foremost. And I, I think everybody in our conference would agree we are the premier conference in District 2. Lackawanna Conference is a step behind it, especially this year. Um, if you win your conference, you set yourself up for success. Then from there, we'll let the tournament unfold. And, you know, injuries happen. You never know what's going to happen in districts. Well, we uh, wish you well. Congratulations on a, a great start there for Coughlin. 6-0 and to start the season. Uh, some big games coming up. Uh, we'll see how things go. Shane McGrady, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Coughlin Volleyball here on the John Mendola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.